So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through everything you need to know, how it works, why you wanna use this feature, and many other things. So firstly, guys, if you haven't signed up to Weeble yet, go ahead and use my link in the description below and get 12 free stocks valued up to $32,000 right now by using my link. Weeble is a commission-free online trading platform that allows you to invest in stocks and options and paper trade them as well. Now today, we are gonna be using the Weeble desktop app, which again is completely free to use, guys. So if you just go to Weeble.com and then you go over to this download tab up here, you can click on it. And just from here, you can go ahead and download the Weeble desktop app. And I believe this uh, paper trading feature for options is only available on the latest version. So you may need to update to the latest version if you already have the app, but you can't see this, okay? So let's go ahead and let's go on over to the Weeble desktop app and let's get into this video here. So let's go over to the Weeble desktop app. Here it is, guys. So this is the main account page here. You can see my account value, my profit and loss chart, a lot of other things, right? This is the main account page that I'm on right now. So the very first thing that we want to do here is we wanna go over to the paper trading section. So what you need to do is you go to the left here and if you go down here, notice that the last one on the left, this one that has a dollar sign on it, if you hover over it, it should say paper trading. So you wanna go ahead and click on this button here. This will take us over to the paper trading section here on the Weeble desktop app. Now, as you can see here, uh, what you're first gonna see right away is just your regular stocks paper trading, right? So if I go to Apple, and I say create order, right over here on the bottom, this is where you would go, and if you wanted to paper trade just regular shares of a stock, this is where you would do it, right? So single, you have Apple, you have buy, and you know, let's say I wanted to buy like 100 shares, 500 shares maybe, right? You go ahead and buy them here. You could set it as limit order, market order, and then of course adjust your limit price. This is basically where you would go ahead and paper trade regular shares of a stock. So today we wanna focus on paper trading options on a stock now. And so again, this may be a little bit difficult to find. So I believe the way this is actually first gonna look is it's gonna probably look something like this. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna first go ahead and click on this drop down if it's not expanded. So go ahead and click on it and it should expand and you should see something like this. So this is basically almost gonna look like a browser. You're gonna have multiple tabs up here eventually and we already have one tab, which again is looking at paper trading for just regular shares of a stock. So if you wanna go ahead and paper trade options, here's where you need to go. You need to go over here to the right, and where it says new layout here, this plus button here, go ahead and click on it. So here, as you can see, you can choose another layout. It's basically gonna add another tab here to this. So you, could have, you have a blank paper layout, you have US stocks paper trading, so again, what we just saw, paper trading regular shares of a stock, there's this day traders paper trading one as well. But now as you can see the last option on here, US stock options trading simulation. So go ahead and click on this once here. So this is, where, this is how you would get to the paper trading for options feature here on Weeble. So it might be a little bit hidden if you really don't understand where it's at. But here I just showed you where you would go and find it. And so now as you can see, we have two tabs on top. So we can go back here and paper trade regular shares of a stock, and you can switch over to paper trading options on a stock now. So let's take a look here at how this feature works now, what we, what we would do next here. So the very first thing you wanna do here, of course, is you know find what stock you wanna paper trade options on. Now, why do you wanna paper trade options? Well, if you're a beginner, for example, Right, you wanna first understand uh, what options are, how they work, you may wanna mess around with them, but you may not wanna actually use your own money or real money. This is what this allows you to do, right? It allows you to basically use you know, fake money here to go ahead and trade and hopefully learn a lot from it, right? Or if you wanna you know, potentially just uh, practice different strategies, right? Maybe you wanna practice a MACD strategy, VWAP strategy, RSI strategy, 
or maybe you just want to understand how theta decay affects options, how implied volatility affects options, things like that, right? This is why you would want to go ahead and paper trade options before you actually use real money. Because here, if you lose money, it's not actually real money. You're not actually losing your real money. This allows you to practice trading options without actually having to lose money here, right? So that's why you would want to use this feature here. So let's say I wanted to paper trade options with AMD. So what you would do is you would come up here and you can actually click into here. This is where you would go ahead and search whatever stock you want. So if I wanted to paper trade options on AMD, I would go ahead and search for AMD. So here's advanced micro devices. I would go ahead and click on it. And now it's going to take me over to the options for AMD. And now this will look very similar to what the real options on the Weeble desktop app look like, right? So let's take a look here at the different things that we have. So the first thing I want to mention here, guys, is that as of right now, you can only paper trade single options, right? So that means, you know, buying calls, buying puts, selling calls, selling puts. That's all you can paper trade right now. Hopefully in the future, they can add a feature where you can, you know, use more advanced trading strategies like spreads, condors, butterflies. But right now, you can only buy calls, buy puts, sell calls, sell puts, which is still enough. It's still enough to get you going and basically get you learning and practicing different things. Uh, so the only option you're gonna have here is single, so you don't even have to go into that right now. Now, of course, we have the amount of strikes. Well, actually, let me first go down here, right? So down here is where you choose the expiration date. So whatever day you wanna use for your options, uh, let's just leave it as it is. So August 26, 2022, four days until that expiration. Let's just say I want to use that. So you can click on that, expand it. This will show you all the options that are going to expire on that particular day. Then up here, you can uh, change how many options you want to see. So let's say I want to see only 10 options, 10 different strikes. Now it's going to show me 10 different options, 10 different strikes, right? Uh, if I want to see all of them, I can click all and then see all of them that are available, which there's going to be a lot for some of these stocks. That's why I kind of go down to only like 10 or 6. So let me just go back to 6 here. And then, of course, over here, the type, right? So if you want to see both calls and puts, you can filter to calls, you can filter to puts. And then uh, over here, you can go ahead and filter by descending or ascending strike price, right? So if you want the lower strike on top, higher strike on bottom down here, or if you want it the other way, you can go ahead and change it there as well. Right, so that's basically that right there. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and let's say we're bearish on AMD, we want to buy a put. So again, we would filter probably to puts here. Let's say I wanted to buy a put at the $90 strike. So this one right here. So what do I do? So once you've identified, you know, your expiration, the strike, the type, you would go ahead and come over here and you can right click it and you can go ahead and say buy. Or if you want to sell a put, you can also do that as well. But I'm just going to say, you know, let's say I want to buy a put. Maybe I'm bearish on AMD or I want to test some strategy out. So I would go ahead and click on buy. Now down here in the order entry, you can see it updated this with what I wanted. So let's take a look here at all the different things that we see just to make sure that everything we see is correct. So again, the strategy, there should only be one strategy, which is single. So we're dealing with regular puts, regular calls. Uh, symbol AMD, right? Strike 90, that's what we had chosen. Now, what's nice is you can also actually change it here. You don't have to go back up here to change it in case you, you know, chose the wrong one. You can actually just change it right here. Same thing with expiration, right? You see we have expiration of August 26. Again, if you messed it up and you actually want a different expiration, you can just change it right here. You don't have to go back up here and scroll down and find it. You can just find it right here. We have type put. I couldn't click on here and then we'll switch over to call and I can click on it, switch back to put. Then we have, okay, we want to buy it. You, again, you can click on here instead if you want to sell it, uh, but we're going to leave as buy. And then quantity, how many of these do you want to buy? Let's just say we just want to buy one here. So let's switch that to one. Order, limit order, and market order are the two uh, options you have here. So again, I always go with limit because it gives you a control, you know, over what's the most you're willing to pay to enter this trade. Um, if you do market order, it will fill a lot quicker, though, I will say that. Uh, and then, of course, your limit price here. So now we also down here have a graph option, which basically allows you to see kind of what your, you know, your risk to reward is. So your max loss here is 119. 
max profit is 8,881. You can also kind of look over here and see like, hey, if AMD is at 8,158 at expiration, I should be making around $722. If it's at 78.58, I should be making around $1,022, right? So this is always kind of nice to just kind of take a look at, or you can use option strat as well. And then over here, we can take a look at uh, our premium, right? It's gonna be debit, we're gonna pay 119, and then the buying power that we have. So you would go ahead now and place this simulated order. And as you can see, it was submitted successfully. Now, in terms of where you see this order over here to the right, Notice under orders, you see working, right? So they're working to get this filled. Uh, and then once it's filled, you can go over to filled and you can actually find if the option was filled here. So right now it's working to fill this one. Now you can, if it's taking too long, again, you can right click here, you can cancel it. It just went through as you guys saw, but you could cancel it or you could modify it as well if you wanna change the limit price. Uh, so just kind of some options there, but as you guys saw, it just went through. So now if I go over to filled, you can see it filled the option for me, right? It bought an option of AMD for $119, it looks like. And that tells you your filled time as well. And then of course you have canceled, failed, all. Now for my positions, you can switch over to positions here and you can see what your positions are. So here's my AMD position. Here's a put that I sold on Ford uh, pretty recently, so I'm only down $1. And then these would be regular shares, right? So this would be done over here on the US stocks paper trading. So this was me buying shares of Apple and shares of Microsoft. Uh, I think it was for my last video that I made on paper trading stocks, shares on Webull. And as you can see, I'm actually up 2,000 on Apple, $40 on Microsoft. If you scroll over, you can see I have 100 shares of Apple hundred shares of Microsoft and then my average price and then of course for the options you see the same thing right your average price your last price uh, negative one means you sold one means you bought uh, that's kind of how that works right so this is where you would go ahead and see the positions that you're currently in so anyways that's the new paper trading feature here on the Webull desktop app again I think it's very handy very useful for those of you that want to first learn and not just jump in and potentially lose a lot of money okay so Again, if you haven't signed up to Webull, I'll put a link to it in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord, link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Now, I'll see you guys next time.